with love aajkal starring kartik aryan and sara ali khan which is a sort of remake of his own film of the same name from 11 years ago imtiaz ali has done what few believed was even possible he's made a love story that might be more indulgent contrived and incoherent than when harry met sejal and that's saying something ever since his film making debut in 2005 with the charming socha natha you could say that imtiaz has within his cinematic universe been fascinated by the rhythms and the vagaries of love he has been committed to telling stories about the redemptive transformative nature of true love occasionally it's yielded extraordinary results like it did with jab we met which remains his finest film other times it's been hit or miss like the earlier love aajkal the new film straddles two love stories across two time zones to make the point that one only has to look to the past to resolve romantic conundrums of the present in that film saif ali khan's jay realized the depth of his feelings for dipika padukone's meera after listening to rishi kapoor's veer recount how he found and fought for love as a young man in an inspired casting choice saif also played the younger version of rishi kapoor's character veer i should say here that i wasn't a big fan of the earlier film compared to the new one though it's gone with the wind mera to waisa nahi hai na ki main tumko dekha nahi chahta in present day delhi Zoe played by Sara Ali Khan and Veer played by Kartik Aryan are struggling with the familiar relationship versus career dilemma. Meri zindagi mein sabse important cheez mera career hai. The update here is that it's the girl who's torn between these choices. The guy stands by patiently. Just a moment, tumhe lage main tang kar raha hu. Main chala jaunga. Another story narrated in flashback becomes the compass that informs the course of this one. Main iske baad aapka peecha nahi karunga. Maine kaha tumhe tum mera peecha mat karo. In 1990 Udaipur a young fellow Raghu also played by Kartik Aryan is smitten by Leena played by Arushi Sharma There is a delicate romance potentially thwarted by objecting parents and a judgmental society There are some nice bits here like a scene during a school event where the pair dances awkwardly But this segment is sweet at best it's also mostly inert The real problem with the film however is the present day track and particularly the character of Zoe. Between the way she's rendered on paper and the way that Sara plays her, Zoe is pretty much insufferable. One can appreciate her ambition and her single-minded focus on her event planner career. But using a feminist argument to justify unbuttoning her blouse while going into a job interview is far-fetched. The work love conflict that she makes a big deal about isn't fleshed out enough to feel convincing. Practically nothing about her situation suggests that her relationship with Veer could come in the way of her achieving her professional potential. If anything, Veer is supportive and devoted to the point of being a pushover. Sara plays Zoe as high strung, shrill and prone to unprovoked outbursts. It's sort out nahi hoga Veer. Zoe is meant to be complicated and confused. but she comes off as self important and infuriating kartik meanwhile fares better he brings a boyish innocence and a goofiness to raghu who is experiencing love for the first time as veer his body language is awkward initially but he grows into the role of the idealistic romantic har to wahi kar sakta hai na jo apna hota hai arushi sharma in the role of leena has a nice likable presence but it's randeep hooda who grounds the film in some modicum of believability as a man looking back at his life reflecting on his choices randeep brings a lived in quality that this film is sorely missing love aajkal 2.0 if you like is largely contrived and superficial it's a love story in search of a conflict in that it reminded me of imtiaz's other film the polarizing tamasha like that film it doesn't have a lot to say yet pretends to be deep and profound The filmmaker's opinion of the millennial generation and their take on love, sex and commitment is unmistakably patronizing. The film claims to hold a mirror to modern love, yet it judges that very thing. There is no polite way to say this. Love Aajkal is pretty awful and dreadfully boring. It's also overlong and hammy. The pursuit of romantic fulfillment has seldom felt so banal. I'm going with 1 and a half out of 5. Oh, 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 oh,